week we looked at uh, the objectives of the course, we looked at the syllabus, we also, uh, you were asked to share some of your expectations for the course, what you wanted to get out of the course, and we also looked at the different online spaces that we're going to use, uh, primarily OneNote, Facebook page, and we're going to use the shared online document where you're going to basically create all of your products in that single document. And because it's shared with me, we can interact and I can provide feedback and you can post questions within that same document uh, as you progress and develop uh, your writing skills over the course of the next 15 weeks. So this week we focused on developing your ideas, the topic that you want. Uh, it's important by the end of this week that you have a topic that you're clear about that you want to use throughout the course. We're going to begin in Unit 1 developing a concept paper which will lead into uh, doing a, uh, an article, a critique of, of different articles and that's in Unit 2. In Unit 3 we'll be looking at developing an annotated bibliography that will then take us into Unit 4 which will be our literature review or our final text in the case of uh, some of you who are wishing to uh, write uh, empirical studies. So you'll have both a theoretical framework as well as your own study and method section and results and discussion sections. So the, the focus of this week really is to uh, come up with our, our topic for this uh, semester and think of specifically uh, the thesis statement that relates to our topic as well as our topic sentences. So now we want to begin developing these four key sentences that's going to provide the basis for our five paragraph essay uh, that will include an introduction paragraph, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. So we're really going to focus first on the thesis statement and the three topic sentences and then you can, you can begin developing ideas around those, for example, developing body paragraphs around those main uh, topic sentences. And uh, next week we'll uh, dive deeper into introduction paragraph, conclusion paragraph, and we'll begin talking about reasoning patterns, how to organize our ideas, uh, rationales behind uh, the sequencing of ideas that we're going to use both within each paragraph and at the level of the essay. So we'll talk more in detail next week about those, but it's a good idea to begin with these four sentences and then if you want to uh, proceed you can then begin developing the paragraphs going into uh, next week, specifically next Thursday which will be our next face-to-face -face class. So I look forward to uh, continuing to see your work develop uh, going into week two and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the technology that we're using or the assignments that we're uh, working on.